Hey y'all, what's up? So first I want to say, um, I'm going to, if you ever watched any of my alternate day fasting videos, I'm not alternate day fasting anymore. Um, I'll tell y'all about that, but I moved that content to my new channel called CC Does Life. I'll link it below. And that channel is just going to be more of talking and sharing weight loss and stuff like that. And here we'll just stick to the planning, the self-care, the fragrances and all that good stuff. So speaking of self-care, I'm sorry if I spit a little bit, <laughs> but um, I'm hungry and I smell food and y'all going to hear my stomach growling. So, all right. Um, I have like a bit of a self-care haul here and I'm going to record my Bath and Body Works thing. So if y'all see the same shirt, don't talk about me. <laughs> it was the same day, okay? All right, so I wanted to get some more of those sprays, like the um, aluminum free slip sprays. And I saw these, this uh, Schmitz Lavender and Sage. I got these from CVS. I think they were like $5.99. That's some lotion or something on it, y'all. It looked like it looked pretty on the camera, but I'm not about to re-record this. But lavender and sage. Now, listen, I use this. It's the the smell is loud. It gives me a headache. But I just I use it like on my lower body. Do not spray this on your hoo ha. Um, do not. Okay. Um, but it the 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 smell like the lavender smell is really strong. And it's just, I don't know if it's, um, let's see, it says natural deodorant spray. I don't know if it's because it's natural. It says it's plant-based with blends of essential oils. Wait, blend of essential oils and plant-based odor fighters. Uh, it was about $5.99. There's 3.2 ounces. It says it has an air spray with ozone friendly propellant. So I guess it's not aerosol. So those things like attracted me to it. If you just saw that spray, you can slow it, slow it down and watch it in slow motion. <laughs> but um, the spray is kind of thick. If you like a lavender, like the real essential oil scent of lavender, you'll like this. It does last about like out for if you're gonna be out sweating, not working out, cause I haven't tried working out with this, but if you're gonna be out in the heat, um, it does work, not underarms. Now, I don't use this underarms. I find that a lot of these sprays like this, they, you end up, <laughs> you end up being musty. So I use it like, you know, for some of us who are um, bigger, um, like on the, the creases and the fupa and all that, I'm just telling you. So I rather use aluminum free stuff and around the breast and stuff like that uh, because I don't, I don't know, maybe the aluminum thing. Is it a myth? Anyway, it lasts about six hours in the hot sun. I live in the south. We got a lot of heat. Um, but just like on a regular day, it's about eight to 12 hours. You'll be, well, I was okay. I won't say you will be okay, but I was okay with this. Um, the scent does go away as it dries down, but it's strong. Just warning you. But um, those aspects of it like it being natural and all that stuff is something um girl, i thought that was <laughs> something else, but um those are a pluses for me there's also this one the rose and vanilla spray same um thing same description of like the plant-based oils and all that stuff it says 48 hour protection but i, I will have taken taken a bath within 40 hours now this one Oh my God, this stinks to me. It stinks. I don't know. It's like a rose smell, but it's something else in there. And it's not vanilla. Unless that's how vanilla smells. Like, maybe I'm so used to the artificial vanilla. Y'all, that was my stomach. <sighs> mm -mm. I can't wait to get rid of this. <laughs> like, I mean, it's a shame. It's a shame because I feel like, um, it's environmentally friendly and stuff like that, but just, I'm sorry, it, it, I don't like the smell. Let me see, do I have my receipt? Oh, y'all, I don't know, oh, I do have that, okay. Let me see, is it on here? Sorry, I should have been more prepared, but I don't have a lot of time, so, you know. Okay, so there's that Schmitz 
and this came from CVS if I didn't say that. Now I'm trying to find somewhere to put this stuff. All right. So I can get this out the way. I got this Olay. It came uh, damaged, but they did put it in a bag. This Olay Collagen Cleansing and Firming. It is with B3. Let me see how it smells. It smells really good. I heard Shaughnessy talk about this and she was like she actually saw like a um a brightening of her skin not like whitening but a brightening of her skin so i wanted to try this i haven't even gotten through the the dove ones that i had because i've been using everything else but that i forget that i have some so that's probably the last body wash i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna um purchase for a while so um it smells good i mean it was on cvs for about, I keep saying about, I want to have these prices. I think, I mean, everybody usually knows what those prices are. I think it's not, on, oh, it was regularly $11.99, but it was on sale for $7.69 at my CVS. All right. Um, I have natural hair, if you can't tell. And I was watching someone do a um, wash and go and she used this argan oil and morocco creamy hair butter and it's leave-in or you can rinse it out it's by ogx and y'all my stomach is cutting up y'all see my hair on it <laughs> um but i like it but i don't think like i wanted something to keep my hair from getting frizzy even when i do the wash and goes i part it as much as i can and you know i put like this on it then some type of gel on it and i think it may be the gel i used to use like aloe vera gel but the kind i use without alcohol i cannot find it and that will work but this i mean i like it i mean you can see the consistency of it it's not sticky and it's not something that's like thick that will leave like a bunch of residue but it's i think the consistency for this is perfect it smells really good um, this one, I bought this a while back, so I don't remember how much it was. It probably was like 6 or $7. And they also have the coconut curls, the same thing, but coconut. Let me see how this one smells, because I want to smell it. It smells like coconut. <laughs> it smells good, but um, I do find that it does help, like, define the curls. But, and it's not heavy to where they're weighted down and you just looking like, <laughs> you know, it just looks raggedy. So I find that it helps define, but not so much tame the frizz. And that's what I'm looking for. So I have to find something that is um, compatible to my hair. But I think maybe I just, I may need a hair cut or something like that. Yeah, I'm trying not to show y'all. I'm always trying not to show y'all the back of my hair. I need to get it, get my hair done. All right, this... Colleen Marie is someone who always gets me to buy something. She needs to be sponsored by all these brands. Now, this is the Secret Weightless Dry Spray. It says vanilla and argan oil, 48-hour sweat and odor protection. Now, this does have aluminum in it, y'all, but um, so use it at your own risk. I don't know, but it smells divine. Like the mist looks like this. Did it come out? Yeah, it came out. It smells so beautiful and it's a vanilla smell. Um it's just like a the light, perfect vanilla scent. I don't smell any argan or whatever. I don't know if you're supposed to smell that. Or it's just something like a moisturizer, but it smells so beautiful. Like on um, there it goes. Wait, I didn't shake it up so y'all can see the full effect. There you go. And then the mist of it, like the Schmitz, Schmitz, I was trying not to mess that up, but the mist is kind of like sloppy. It kind of gets everywhere. This mist is direct and more dry, but it does say a dry spray. So I like this uh, formula better, but of course it is, it may be the aluminum that makes it better like that, but it smells so lovely, um, just like vanilla. So, um, yeah, I appreciate that. All right, so this has been my go-to, but it is expensive. Wait, that's secret. This one is probably, I think it's like $7.99. And these are, they're always out of them in my 
um, CVS, uh, Walgreens, whatever. They're always out. They have another uh, fragrance, but I wasn't able to pick it up. All right, now this Summer's Eve Sport or Active Spray. This one is, uh, you know, this is for like the intimate areas. Now, I can say that this works to control sweat and I do prefer to use it more than um, the the deodorant, like, well, this is deodorant too, but like more than like the um, Dove 0% sprays and stuff like that. I don't know why, cause like the mist is more, um, it, it's not like, it's more dry, you know, so, you know, it's like that. And like the regular Summer's Eve, that's not with this black top, Y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all use it. The, the mist, like, they even say do it in a well-ventilated area because it's like, you, it's like the room fills up with this cloud of fragrance and those don't smell good. I got this because of that because it doesn't, those don't smell too good. This one, I mean, it's like a, just a fresh scent. It's not really like a lilac or something like that. Um, it says it sprays down, sprays on dry and it does if it'll focus and what else does it say absorbs moisture absorbs moisture and delivers a boost of freshness two times the moisture absorbent ingredient now i can't i'll use this when i go walking and it's hot so sometimes i'm sweating this does work more than any of these other things to control sweat but like i said it's because i think because it's like if you don't get a whole lot and then I have one that I used and I think the aerosol went out so I wasn't able to spray the rest that was left in the can so I was really peed about that um my friend was like you should send that back she always sending something back I don't like to go through the hassle but I may do it for that but those are six twenty nine six dollars and twenty nine cents it's two ounces um from CVS, but they they usually have a sale on those. Um, was it six twenty nine? Yeah, it's regular six twenty nine. But you know, like if you're gonna use it, I mean, it may be more economical to use one spray for everything. But of course, you like the scents and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's your choice. I don't know why I went into a whole rant about that, but I I like it. It's just like I don't know. All right, this one is one of my favorites since this one is hard to find too and this is a dove advanced care dry spray with natural oils i love the bottle it's so pretty this one is in rose it smells just like rose i think i showed this before but i love the bottle even the way the spray thing looks it smells lovely as well so but this one has aluminum in it all right so hit like a, a um gripe that i have about these sprays i don't want to make so much noise but do i have oh yeah i have two more things to show you all right so a gripe that i have about these sprays is that the scents that they come in like lavender and vanilla um cucumber melon what's the other one that rose is like the plain one but the other one that's like jasmine and something the dove one and then there's like the coconut it doesn't like can we just get one scent can y'all just make coconut period <laughs> like just something like that because when of course most of us are having fragrances on top of that so you kind of want something that blends even though with these when it dry down dries down sometimes the scents go away but i mean it's the thought that counts so in thinking of that i was i saw the men's kind the men's stuff and they have the zero percent for the men now i've um I've read the reviews and the men were saying like this this don't work under the arms like this man said he were construction and he was musty by lunchtime so uh, these are zero percent aluminum if I haven't said that this one is eucalyptus and birch same type of uh, spray bottle as like the um, I mean same type of nozzle or whatever like this one am I being extra by showing y'all this I don't know but this one smells like eucalyptus it smells so good of course i'm not going to be wearing any eucalyptus smelling uh fragrance but 
I would I put on deodorant to go to sleep. That's the only time I would use spray deodorant. Y'all probably heard my phone is vibrating. Shucks. Anyway, um, it smells just like eucalyptus mint. Exactly. Like you get the eucalyptus and then the mint comes right after it. I haven't did I try it on the skin? Like on the skin, it's like dry. I'm not sure about white marks or any of that. Yeah, it's very nice calming scent and then i got this other one sandalwood orange i was afraid about that orange but um i like a lot of woody scents like perfumes and that's why i wanted to get this one yeah this one that smells like my grandpa <laughs> like in a good way but you can definitely definitely smell the sandalwood and the orange is not too strong it kind of reminds me of hairspray yeah, the sandalwood, it's like a fresh, clean sandalwood smell. It's not like too woody. I don't really get the orange, the orange, like my mom would say. You know, we all country out here. Whew. It smells good. It's like refreshing. So try the men scents with Dove, Schmitz, and whoever else secret. Y'all, I need y'all to make like, just keep it simple, please. All right, I'm trying to grab this other stuff in here. And those were how much were they? They were $9.79 a piece. No, $8.79 a piece. And I got they were on sale too. Alright, so from Target, I got this. Now there's this. I wish I had the other one with me, but the black girl sunscreen. So um, you know, like people of color, we have the cast that comes with having sunscreen. The regular kind, this one is for kids, but the regular kind is a 30 SPF and I wanted something higher. This one is 50. So, um, I wanted to use this one because the SPF was higher, but it, this one is a little bit harder to work in, but it doesn't like leave a cast behind. You see, it's like clear and I love that it's not greasy or anything like that. Um, it's for kids. It's more gentle around the eyes, but just be careful because sunscreen will burn the mess out your eyes. But that's, it was $9.99 from Target. That's the only place I've seen that brand sold. All right. And last, this, for some reason, I got to explain this before I show y'all. For some reason, my ankles like started to get really dry and I was like, what is going on? Like, I thought I was like, diabetic or something like that it really scared me i don't know what it is but i sit indian style a lot and i think um what my doctor said maybe because i'm sitting like that and the chair that i use to work is like a cloth chair it's absorbing the moisture and causing friction i don't know but i heard this from doctor oh lord i don't even want to show y'all because it's going to reflect but carousel intensive foot repair this is this was $14.49 at uh, CVS and I'm telling y'all you will get results now I know it's for the heels but it, it even works with your heels I don't want to keep shaking it around but it's like a, a Vaseline type texture um, it comes like in a little tube like this and this stuff works with like smoothing that dry skin I and it's I mean, they're not lying. They say results in one day. It does. It's smooth. It ain't going to be completely gone. But if you like exfoliating and, you know, I do, you know, my own little pedicure. So I take care of my feet and my ankles and stuff. But if, like, you do that, you get out the tub, you know, do your little exfoliation, dry it, put some of that on there, put some socks on there, your feet will be A1. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. So that is it for this self-care haul. Next will probably... I don't know what I'm gonna put up next, but I have to do, I have more Bath and Body Works fragrances, some um, other ones that I think are coming. And then I'm gonna slow down with that and then do some planning stuff or something like that. I'm trying to get an organization to this channel, but, oh, you know what? I forgot one more. Oh no, that's not it. I forgot I had this Carol's Daughter cream hair stuff that I bought. Girl, I can't even find it. I thought that was it right there, but that's not it. That's a candle. <laughs> All right, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like it.